Happy Midweek Wednesday. I greet you from the Fellowship Hall of Bethel United Methodist Church, where today, tonight, at 6 p.m., we will gather for our annual Charge Conference. Now, Charge Conference is the time in the life of the Methodist Church when our district superintendent comes, and so the Reverend Dr. Sandra Stevens Perrell will be with us tonight. And it is the occasion where we look back over the life of um, ministry here this past year, and when we look forward and put um, nominations before the leadership to vote on, we set the salary for the pastor, uh, we authorize any lay speakers, we do the work of the church. It is uh, an occasion that, um, that causes us to pause and with intentionality look back over our shoulder and capture what God has brought us through, um, how God has used us, um, what we have been able to um, experience together as the body of Christ called Bethel. This year, like we did two years ago, we are gonna um, see that through visuals. We're gonna see that through slides instead of through written and spoken reports. So um, Allison Davidson has gathered uh, photographs from uh, lots of sources. Many of you take pictures and are, have been kind to share. And so I think that she did this picture dump at the first um, and, and let it sort of sort itself out. And it was gonna be 40 minutes, which we realized that was gonna be too long. So we cut it down to seven minutes and down to about a hundred images. So we're just gonna walk through the year visually um, tonight. So uh, on the screens here in our fellowship hall, we'll um, see a year at a glance tonight. We also are gonna upload this to our website. So at six o'clock when we gather here, and begin our charge conference and see our year at a glance. We'll also make that available for those of you who are not gonna be able to come tonight. And on our website, you'll find a way to, um, uh, to watch it as well and smile along with us at uh, the ways we've lived through um, the global pandemic that was the end of 2020 and the first 10 months of 2021. So I hope you'll tune in tonight. Also this Sunday, we will gather um, at the nine o'clock service. It'll be open air. It is a fifth Sunday. And we said that we would continue that joyful tradition that we had um, adapted to during um, uh, this earlier part of the year. And we would return to open air on this Sunday. So this Sunday, uh, open air, nine o'clock in the sanctuary, 1115. And our district superintendent will be bringing the message at both services. As you may remember, I'll be leaving on Saturday to go to Sierra Leone to visit with, see firsthand our mission partners there, Helping Children Worldwide, Mercy Hospital, the United Methodist Influence and Impact. Um, and uh, I, I trust that not only will I um, bring greetings from Bethel and our love there, I, I believe that my heart will be stretched and I will be a student uh, of learning that that experience will hold much for me as well that I hope to be able to share with you when I return. We'll be together the following Sunday, November the 7th for All Saints Sunday, which is one of the high um, festival days in the life of the church where we give thanks for those who have gone before us and who still shape our lives. So I look forward to seeing you tonight. Uh, those of you who could be present in the room, six o'clock. Others of you who cannot, um, hope you will um, be blessed by our worship services on Sunday, nine o'clock open air, 1115 sanctuary. And then I look forward to seeing you again, All Saints Sunday, November the 7th. Um, my love to you.